Hello and welcome to Unit 1 in our New Mexico History class. This unit will orient you with our course. Um, you'll get to know the syllabus and all of the various activities that we'll be doing over the course of this semester. So the first thing I want to say is please don't get overwhelmed. Um, we're going to be looking over the entire course, everything that we're going to have all semester to complete. Um, so this is just getting you kind of off on the right foot um, helping us introduce ourselves to one another, um, and we're also going to be spending quite a bit of time thinking about history as a field and how we study history, how we study the past and how we think about the past. Um, so uh, please note that although this uh, particular unit, like all the rest, um, is planned to take two weeks, um, the activities you'll be doing during the first week take a bit less time than the activities you'll be doing during the second week. Um, so please try to spread those out accordingly um, as best fits your schedule. You can look through the learning module to see all of uh, what is uh, required for the activities that we'll be doing. So for example, by this first Sunday, the 8th, uh, you will need to complete your introduction on the discussion board, and you will need to complete the email activity. Um, during the second week, you will work on the discussion board again, uh, but this time, I froze for a second, <laughs> this time uh, you will be focusing on uh, a few different short readings about history and how we study the past. In particular, we're going to talk about historical thinking, which is a particular set of skills that historians apply to putting together the puzzle of what happened a long time ago. Um, as we'll come to realize, you may already realize, history is not about memorizing names and dates. Um, that actually has very little to do with history. Um, instead, history is about getting as many perspectives as we can on past events and putting together a puzzle so that we can have the fullest picture possible of what happened long ago. So that we can learn from those events and so that we can see how they have um, helped us to get to where we are now, um, but also that we can learn about the ways that people relate to each other and interact with each other. For me, one of the most powerful things about history as a field of study is that it can allow us to put ourselves in the shoes of others, uh, people who come from different um, ethnic, cultural, um, religious, and so on, all these kinds of different backgrounds than we come from that see the world in very different ways than we see it and who lived maybe sometimes hundreds of years ago. Um, and so all of those things require us to think a little more deeply about human experiences and help us to build empathy for one another. Um, so again, to me, that is one of the most powerful things about history, and I'm really looking forward to learning from your ideas about history and historical thinking. So during that second week then, by the end of, by the, end of the second week, I should say, the second Sunday, the 15th, um, you will need to complete the uh, discussion about history, and you will need to uh, post a couple of things, either to Twitter or Hypothesis. In that part of the activity, what you'll be doing is getting familiar with Twitter and Hypothesis. You'll decide which of those two you want to be using for the reading annotations assignments that we'll do all semester. Um, you can end up using both if you'd like, uh, or you can choose one or the other. Um, if you have questions about any of that, please don't hesitate to ask. Also, please take advantage of the video tutorials that I've provided in the Reading Annotations tab in the uh, Course Content section of the menu um, here in Blackboard. Uh, there's a lot. I tried to give you a lot of resources to help you um, get going and get on board with that Reading Annotations assignment. Same thing with the timeline. Um, you don't actually have to do anything with the timeline this time around. Um, for Unit 1 at least, um, you do need to become familiar with the timeline assignment, with Tiki Taki, so that you can hit the ground running in Unit 2 and complete work on the timeline. Um, what we'll be doing is working together using the same um, account on Tiki Taki to create a collaborative timeline this semester. So. Um, that's where we're going. As I mentioned, don't be overwhelmed because we're going to be looking at everything that we're going to be doing all semester long. And remember, you'll have all semester to work on these things and work together. So 
Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know all of you. As I've tried to mention in a few other places, um, I'm very approachable, so please ask questions whenever you have them. Um, send me a text, send me a tweet, send me an email, whatever works best for you. Um, also, we can set aside time to meet in person. Um, of course, my office hours are Monday mornings at Westside, uh, but I'm occasionally, well, not even occasionally, frequently um, at main campus as well, so um, if we need to make a different appointment, we can do that too. Um, all right, I will leave it at that. I look forward to studying New Mexico history with all of you this semester.